Hey everyone, I am going to make honey beer bread today. Um, I came up with this recipe, well I didn't come up for it, I found it, um, because I love to make bread and it's really hard to come by yeast right now in the store. So, did a little research, found out you can actually make bread using basic beer. So, I thought it would be a good recipe to share and hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. So, let's first start out with making sure we have all of our ingredients. Um, you're going to line a loaf pan with uh, parchment paper. Make sure it's parchment, not wax. Go ahead and line this and put it aside so that's ready to go. And then you need flour. So I've just got all-purpose flour. I've got baking soda, or sorry, baking powder, but you need a tablespoon of that. Um, salt, teaspoon of salt. Uh, honey, fourth of a cup of honey. Got my honey, Oops, my beer. got my honey, um, and then our beer, and today I chose, it's a peach wheat ale, um, you can do any kind of beer that you like, choose a beer that you enjoy, um, because you, it, the, the bread does taste a lot like the beer. And then I've got a fourth cup of melted butter, which I melted in advance. So, first we are going to start off by mixing all of our dry ingredients together. So I've got my flour. I'm going to do three cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to go ahead and since we are making bread, it's really important that we level out our flour. I'm going to use my um, spatula here and I'm going to make sure that this is even. So that's one cup of flour. And then I've got, spread it out, two cups of flour. And then one more cup of all-purpose flour. If you um, wanted, I've also made this using um, whole wheat flour. And what I did for that was I did two cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of whole wheat flour. Sometimes if you use all whole wheat, it can be a little bit dense. So you can mix in a cup of whole wheat if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this out of our way so we have more space. And next I'm going to add my tablespoon of baking powder. Seems like a lot, um, but you don't taste it in the recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape that so it's nice and flat. Tablespoon of baking powder. And I'm going to go ahead and put this back here out of my way. And next I'm going to add my teaspoon of sea salt. So I've got my little teaspoon measure right here. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I've got my salt. And get that out of the way. Oh, and there's my oven. My oven is preheating to 350 degrees. And I washed my hands, another thing that's very important when we're baking. So I'm going to go ahead and mix the dry ingredients together. They're all incorporated. Next, I'm going to add my honey. So we talked about this before. A little tip is what you can do is you can spray your measuring cup with a little bit of uh, spray oil before you put sticky ingredients like honey, peanut butter, anything that's sticky, and that way it'll slip out really nicely. And you don't have to get your fingers dirty or scrape it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a fourth of a cup of honey into my batter. And I have just exactly a fourth cup here, so it worked out perfect. All right, so there's my fourth cup honey. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. You can see how easily it pours out because I sprayed that measuring cup. So tap it a few times, go ahead and get this out of the way. And I'm going to get my honey out of the way too so I have more space. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my beer. I'm going to open up my beer. I think it's better if you do room temperature beer. So if you do plan on making this, maybe pull that beer out um, the day before or a few hours before. Go ahead and pour the entire beer into your batter. Make sure you get all of that goodness. All right, empty beer. Go ahead and put this back here. And now you're just going to stir it and incorporate it all. You do not want to over stir. If you over stir, um, you risk making your batter very firm. You would have very dense bread. So just kind of fold that beer in, make sure it's all incorporated. It should smell really good. It should smell just like yeast bread. Um, but you're just using that yeast that's in the beer to make your bread. All right, so once that's all incorporated, go ahead and grab um, a little baster here. 
and I'm going to start by taking half of the butter and painting my paper here. So the, the butter is a nice little layer on the bottom and it also makes sure that the bread won't stick. And there's my oven reminding me that it's heated to 350. So you want to put about half the beer into the bottom here with your baster. I'm going to go ahead and set that right there. And now I'm going to um, put my beer batter, beer bread batter, into my pan. You can just go ahead and take big scoops of it. I would suggest getting it all in there and then you can kind of even it out once you get, get everything in. So keep scraping it out. There's a lot of dough. This is where your spatula will come in handy uh, to make sure you get everything. I'm just going to set that right there. So use your spatula, get all of the dough. Get it nice into the pan. And I love how simple this is. You don't have to let it rise. You can just go ahead and put it right into the oven, which is awesome. Go ahead and spread that dough out. Make sure it's nice and even in your pan. Go ahead and remove this. And then the last step, so easy, is you're gonna take the rest of that butter and you're just gonna gently pour it over the top. Spread it out evenly. Use your baster, spread it out so the, beer, the bread is, the dough is completely covered. And then you're going to put this into the oven for 40 minutes. Make sure, 40 to 50, my oven's pretty, runs pretty hot, so 40 minutes is plenty. Uh, make sure you really watch it though, because it will rise pretty high and it will turn a nice golden brown. Uh, so you want to make sure that you pay attention and not overcook it. Once it's finished, let it sit for about 10 minutes in the pan, remove it, let it cool completely, slice it, and eat it. So hopefully you like this bread as much as we do. I make this at least once a week. And the great part is you don't need yeast because I know right now we can't really find it. So anyway, great way to make some bread and enjoy it. Have fun. Can't wait to hear if you guys make the bread. Take care. Bye.